hello hello i'm here again today it's been quite a little while how have you been i hope you've been doing well i hope you've been doing good i've been doing well also i thank god for good food on my table for clothing over my back for shelter over my head you know god has been amazing so today i want to share with you um before i give it a title you know i'm someone i like to eat fruit a lot so you know i noticed that each time i eat fruits that um i tend to eat the sweeter ones first and when i eat the sweeter ones first afterwards the ones that are not so sweet when i begin to hit them they, they taste sad to me i don't enjoy it i don't find it palatable or pleasing to my taste but and i was reflecting i was like wow so i related that to life and how god deals with us you know sometimes we might be going through some situations or some trials or some circumstances and you think that oh god doesn't know what he's doing i want to let you know that god knows what he's doing and this brings me to the title of this my message this my video I'm going to title it um, allow the process you know just allow the process there's a process to everything there's time and there's time for everything like the Bible says there's time for everything there's a time to cry a time to laugh a time to make merriment a time to mourn a time to reap a time to sow so i want to let you know that if you're going through some difficult situations or trials at the moment see it as your, your morning time see it as a time that you are actually you're sowing and you will reap you know there's a process to everything it's not, not just in fact about everything in life even in the office in an office you have the hierarchy other you know you move from one level to the other you understand because it's a process you don't jump from being an assistant manager to just become a general manager all of a sudden you have to go through the process believe me if you do not allow that process it's going to tell in your character in your attitude sometimes the things that we go through in life it's building us up for a bigger challenge in life for a big opportunity it's preparing us so do not Force things allow the process the process of of building your character the process of building you you know your resilience you you, you, you the process of building you so that you can face the circumstances the challenges th th that would that you would require to face in the future so when i was relating that fruit um fruit um thing to god i was like sometimes god wants us to learn he knows that if he gives us some pains at the very beginning of our lives we're going to take it for granted you know just like the fruit tastes sad to me it tastes so unpalatable to me because i've already enjoyed the best part of the fruits in the earlier stage I've, so when the other stage came of me eating the not so sweet fruit it was sad to my taste but that's how God works. God wants us to go through the fire so that it can refine us, you know, so that it can refine us and present us ready, ready for the circumstances, ready for the challenges that we might face tomorrow. So whatever you're going through, just believe that it is God that is refining you. You're going through the fire and that fire cannot burn you. Fire doesn't burn gold. Fire refines gold fire refines gold doesn't burn gold so it cannot be burnt you cannot be burnt just believe that god is actually passing you through those things to build you up so that you can be well equi equipped for for a bigger challenge you know so that is i was I, when I, I got the revelation i was like yeah because god wants us that when those things eventually happen when those things we've been asking him for you know eventually happens we will learn to appreciate it because we've actually tasted the not so good parts in the earlier part of our lives so when the better things happen we will learn to appreciate it we wouldn't take it for granted there's a process just like you have the stage 
in, in the educational sector you have the nursery you have the primary you have the secondary you have the university so it is a life you don't jump from nursery school to the university because how do you gain the knowledge how do you gain the character how do you gain the skill how do you gain that capacity to be able to withstand that um university you know environment and and situation that's how it is whatever you're going through is just a process allow the process don't force it don't force it just allow the process allow to persevere allow perseverance learn to persevere just believe that it is a fire you're going through a fire that's going to refine you and it's going to present you beautiful in its time it's going to be beautiful if it's not happening yet just believe it it's not its time it is not its time in its time everything will eventually turn out beautiful yeah thank you for watching my video today i hope my video has motivated you it has challenged you it has inspired you please do not forget to subscribe to my channel superwoman ninja tv on youtube also follow me on instagram superwoman ninja facebook superwoman ninja thank you for watching my video do have a fantastic day ahead and a fantastic week ahead bye for now and also don't forget to give me the thumbs up also you know put your comments Put your comments, give me the thumbs up, you know, share my video. You don't know what this video is going to touch. You don't know how far this video is going to go and touch somebody's life, you know. Bye again. Bye finally for now. See you in the nearest future. Bye. Uh.